You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Keith. Johnson. The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's 90210 After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424 256 1729. That's 424 256 1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's 90210 After Show. Yeah. 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 <laughs> What's up, AfterBuzzers? It's what? your host, Nicoleta Ona, and as being as for doing it, we are doing another episode of 90210 Till Death Do Us Part. I have my lovely co-host. Carmella in the building. Hey guys, what's up? And we have a special guest today, Justin Dealey. Hey, what's up guys, how are you? Hey ladies. So <laughs> happy that he's here. Oh, and thanks. I was not being sarcastic. Oh. I'm really happy. No, we're here. so glad. <laughs> the season premiere, we have Justin Dealey in the house. I yes. told you guys I was going to be bringing surprises to the show now. <laughs> Boom, you brought it. Yes. Um, so, this episode was a lot, of course. It's 90210. They bring the drama. They bring everything. Always. Every single time. It's a shocker. And this time, which is not really a shocker for Naomi, always getting into some type of business, uh, we had her... And Justin, feel free if you ever want to comment on anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we have her on the road getting married in the desert. Typical getting in a car crash because knowing her, she gets into very difficult situations, but somehow finds her way out of it, but into another difficult situation, which is typical Naomi. We had her going to jail because she hitchhiked. First of all, you are not going to hitchhike, <laughs> okay? If that was me, I'd be calling AAA or something like that. There is no time to be hitchhiking. Okay, girl, I know you look cute and all, but you obviously <laughs> you're going to pick up someone who's crazy. <laughs> and she did. She picked up somebody who was what? What did they call him? I don't know, but he was like dealing drugs and robbing the, the gas the stations, right? stores and stuff. Yeah, that, you know, that was not too great. And, of course, she gets herself involved by driving the car and ends up in jail. Well, first of all, they shouldn't have been popping bottles in the limo driving anyway. It's on play. Mistake if number one. If I was in the car, <laughs> I'd be popping bottles too, okay, in the limo. If touché, I was in the back touché. of the limo. <laughs> <laughs> but she just didn't know how to pop bottles, so then that was, you know, the disadvantage. The issue, the to issue. Because <laughs> we know he wouldn't have been drinking because there's no time for drinking and driving. But she could have been sipping, you know, and not drinking For and sure, driving. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> anyway... But um, basically, you know, this whole scenario with them is like they were wanting to get married. And basically, you know, I do feel like they really do love each other. And, you know, Naomi was saying, you know, should we really be together? Because there's so many different signs. I mean, how do you really feel about it? You know, I think uh, that guy, Alec, mm -hmm. hates the situation. Obviously. How do you feel about Alec? <sighs> how do you feel about Alec? Well, Austin's Vegas... <laughs> um, doesn't really know Alec. I've met Alec on a personal level. The man is a very nice guy. Yes. Well, I personally do not actor. like him at all. He's very talented. I think he's he really good. He's good. He's a nice character, character to I bring not like to the situation. His character I do not like. He is trying. You've always to ruin liked. You've always liked Max and Naomi, though. Yes. And I'm not gonna lie, though. Austin and Naomi were the best looking couple. Yeah, okay, they were. really were. Oh the blondes gosh. and like it was really hot. You had it going on. But Max was really good for her and I've always loved them together and now Alec is really trying to get in the middle and I'm going to tell you right now, Alec, it's not going to happen because Naomi's going to put him down if anything. Oh, she for sure will. Oh yeah, like don't even try she to She doesn't take her. that. She won't take that for sure. Especially that. to the law. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that was a problem. <laughs> My girls out there. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so basically, I love them together, and she's going to throw it down with oh Alec. Yeah. Because
Yeah, I just, you know, I really just love them together, but y'all already know that, so mm, on to the next. <laughs> Silver and Teddy. Now, this is just really awkward, confusing, and just weird. I really, <laughs> I just personally don't get it, but I think it's really cute at the end of the day. You know, Teddy really stepped up to be a man and was like, I will have your baby. How do you <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, I'm exactly. still not down with that situation <laughs> at all. <laughs> it's like, what I will you send you the Christmas cards, girl. <laughs> I will send you. Hopefully you're going to send some money with those Christmas cards. Okay. Right? <laughs> she has no idea what she's getting herself into with all that. But trust me, I, I have no idea. Um, but that's going to be a good looking baby. Because Teddy has some be. good jeans. And she's yeah. not bad looking herself. No, she's not. She got that short hair. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> like me right now. Okay. And um, it was really cute. You know, he brought in like the Christmas cards and everything. That was really cute. I really like that. You know, how he said yes to it. And I mean, Naveed and Liam, of course, were Yeah, they were freaking out. First of all, I'm just so over them. Like, I'm just going to bring them into the subject right now. Because first of all, Naveed's like, I just want you to love me. Well, she just told you she don't want to love you because yeah. she just wants to have a baby. Like, she told you that straight up. And he's just, like, mad at the fact that Teddy's about to be the baby daddy because he really wants to be the baby daddy, but he wants her to love him. But no, if you're going to be the baby daddy, yeah. you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that baby I mama daddy drama is not needed, Silver. So why do you want a kid? Why do you want a kid? I don't get it, you know. And then Liam, of course, is not ready. I mean, he's young, hot. No, he don't need yeah. to be no father right now. Absolutely he needs to be pulling, not. <laughs> pulling women. Pulling it in. <laughs> I need to see boys pulling it on this show. Okay, no more love. Like, let's just be real. Y'all tried it. Y'all really tried having love. Well, obviously, it does not work because you guys have dated every single person on the show. I mean, I love, I loved all the hookups. I loved every single of it. But, you know, now we need to start seeing Naveed and Liam getting out there and just pimping, pimping these girls. Okay. Yeah. Right. I, I, I totally agree. They need to move I on. I mean, they want to start this new business, the bar and everything like that. I think that would be really great for them. You know, maybe they'll get some more chicks coming through. Yeah. I think, th I think the guys would, would appreciate that. Mm. I, I think. <laughs> I think so too. I think we'll so. pull some more guys to be watching the show, make it more interesting, and you know, having all that. Before I keep on going, though, I want to um, make sure you guys are downloading us on iTunes, making sure you guys are commenting, rating us. I love to hear you guys' comments, even though they're bad, good, whatever you want to say. Uh, even Get if brave. you want. <laughs> Anything She's they brave. want, bring it on. You know, any of your comments, if you guys want to state your opinions on the show. And also, you are more than welcome to call in tonight. The li the phone lines yeah, are if you guys open. Have any questions yeah. for Justin. Mm -hmm. We'd love bring to take it. the calls. Bring it. Yes, he <laughs> said bring it. So go to <laughs> iTunes, download, rate us, get us maybe into the number 10, you know, 1 to 10 spots, you know, top 10 iTunes. Yes, that'd be great. Um, yeah, so please do that. Okay, back to 90210. I'm really <laughs> bad. I'm really bad at doing that. I also, y'all, <laughs> uh, After Buzz has about 50 shows. Yes. Now they do weekly, so if you watch a show, you better tune in and watch the after show because we have one for y'all. So yes. October, check out the website. The fall shows are yeah. awesome. We have, like, little mini commercials for them, and there's a bunch of them, and they're all great. I'm sure there's a... TV show that you watch, we cover. Absolutely. Definitely. I don't doubt it. Getting back into 90210, Vanessa, this crazy, this crazy girl, this crazy girl. I thought she oh was gone. Oh my God. I can't handle her. She is way too you much. You know what I really would love Liam to do is blame the fire on her. Ooh. Because her stuff was in there, you know? I like feel like that could be foreshadowing oh yeah, a little yeah, bit right well. there. Like, Look at her, man. he Putting really, yeah. yeah, he really needs to turn around and be like, no, you owe me the 200 grand, honey. He needs to make I'd the coins. I'd be down with that. Make the coins. <laughs> yes. He needs to make all that money from her because she's crazy. And she really screwed him she over. She is crazy. I do not like what her. What was that little end situation when he walked up and she was in her car? Oh, we'll see. We got it. The 411 down on that the insurance because uh, now he's gonna make all that money back for the insurance yeah. but he really needs to get extra money because she started the fire that's just really what's gonna yeah. happen she needs he needs to sue her 
So yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> Navita Leah. Simple uh, explanation there. That's just really what's happening. <laughs> Boom. Sued. <laughs> Straight to the Sued point. Sued and done. Two thousand hundred dollars in my hand from you. Um. <laughs> So, yeah, Naveed wants to start this business with Liam, which I think is cute. Like we said, you know, they're going to be getting the chicks because that's what they need. It's crazy how they're still, like, BFF, After even though this chick is, yeah. I know, and I'm just like, okay, Silver's been with Dixon. Because in a usual normal situation, granted, this is a TV show. Right. They would not be friends. Or they would just laugh about it. Yeah. Because yes. dudes are probably just like, Gosh. But instead, they just <laughs> post up on just the They just suppress beat. it all, and they just go, yeah. all right, man. It is what it, it is. It is what it is. Have a good time. Unless, like, they're really sensitive, right? It happens. I'm sure it does. Yeah. Well, because to Naveed, Silver was, like, his first love, everything. But then Adriana was, like, his first love. I mean, I just feel like they just they have all their just first love, love each all the time. Yeah. <sighs> I'm just not even getting <laughs> into that. Like, why can't I find my first love that easily? Why? Well, you know, if your life is I'll a be on the lookout for you. I wish it was. Dang. Don't we all? <laughs> Um, so going into, uh, this new business that Naveed is doing, we have the stalker Taylor. That's what I'm gonna call him. The stalker Taylor, Adriana stalker that she met in Vegas, but then she kind of turned him into a stalker because if you think about it, she just all of a sudden starts making out with this guy that she meets in Vegas. <laughs> Where were you? Yeah. Where'd you Where walk off you? to? She d- <laughs> <laughs> didn't you, didn't no. this, the part where uh, were I, not I, there. Was, I was getting her ready. Yeah, to you show because if you remember, she said, you know, I, I checked her bags mm-hmm. and then I had to get everything ready mm-hmm. to go. You if you remember, I, I'm I'm looking for her as Carly Rae is performing, and I'm looking around and I, I can't find her. And then I say, hey, where the hell you been? Mm-hmm. You should have been there the because then she wouldn't have been in that hotel room. I would have known. I would have done doing something. crazy things. Trust me, Austin would have would have would have put the foot down. I I wish he would have. <laughs> I would protect dicks, man. Trust me. <laughs> I sure. wish he would have. I got to Dixon Because back. now she has this crazy stalker named Taylor, the new boo. And I just don't know. I mean, he's good looking, whatever, I guess. And he's not my cup of tea. <laughs> if you're into that. Yeah. <laughs> if you're into that stalker stuff. If you know, you're I wonder what, what, did, look. what did you guys talk about when Austin first hit the stage about a year ago? I mean, now I'm th- like, oh, man. We <laughs> were into it. We were really <laughs> into it. We were like, <laughs> okay, this. I was like the southern here. little hottie. We got the blonde. Who rolls in with a cowboy hat? <laughs> we got they the. They were probably like, the, all right. The body, but we did probably <laughs> say you were because in between the two girls, you know. Uh, we did feel sorry for you though. Thanks. Because Holly was crazy. We she, w- we didn't Holly. like her. Oh yeah, but that chick. Yeah, we didn't like her. But no, we liked you. Yeah. And now that I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm listening, I'm you just rubbed like, wow. us the right way. Don't don't not everybody. Don't does. get what happened me wrong. Season four premiere, man. Don't get me wrong. I love 90210 and I'm a fan of it, but I just had to state my opinions on certain things, oh you know, yeah. because I'm sitting there watching it on the TV and I'm just like, seriously? Oh, yeah? everybody does it. It's pretty shit. I'm just curious. No, I'm we sitting like here you. with the passion <laughs> that's in this room right now. If you guys could feel the passion <laughs> in this room. Thank you. It's really So it's much fun. passion. Yeah. <laughs> you should have really felt the passion last season, though, because last season was way more intense. It really was. Um, this one might be pretty intense. Really? Yeah. Okay, I mean, well, I, I can't I don't know. I just... You're just saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that was the After Buzz exclusive. Girl, hit that button. <laughs> After Buzz TV exclusive. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, so Adriana, that was cute. You know, she found out. And this is where Austin, I was like, okay, you know what? I feel for you. You totally let her, you know, yeah, you go back bounce. home. You weren't, you know, a little manager freak or anything like that. You weren't like, no, you have yeah, to Yeah, I feel like stage, in a typical you know? situation, the manager would have been like, get your booty on stage. You're yeah, but it. yeah, I think, I think, but uh, knowing that, uh, yeah. Dick, Dixon. And he, he was your you friend, too. He had too. a relationship there, so yeah, I think that, that plays into it a little bit. And you had a soft spot for How that. How was it I filming do. with Carly Rae Jepsen? You know, she was she was really great. I, actually, I had heard after she left or uh, wrapped for the day that she had been an actress before. Or maybe oh she really did theater really? as a younger. I, mean, I could be wrong. Yeah. I don't want to be like. Oh well, uh, we'll say it. But I've just heard. But because she was really great yeah. of all the guest star, who who's uh, guest stars who mm-hmm. aren't actors, um, she was hands down the best. I mean, she was very poised, very calm, very knew what she was doing. Oh, you know, that's and good. Uh, she that was great. Gr- a lot of a lot of fun to work with. I liked her new song. It was really catchy. It yeah. very wa- very much was. Everybody yeah. on the Kiss whole deal. I still want to call me maybe though. <laughs> really? I'm gonna just rock it out. Yeah. But oh well. No, I like the. Kiss. I totally went to the Justin Bieber just concert yeah. at the Staples Center. 
last week was a guy. When he threw up? No, that's Louisiana. Sorry. I didn't up? hear about that. He when he threw, up, threw on stage? up? Yeah, Beef threw up. <laughs> oh, no. Apparently the man ate... Uh, my roommate told me about this. Apparently the man ate, uh, like, a whole thing of spaghetti and a glass of milk before he went on stage. That's well, hilarious. now that's something you don't do. Yeah. Okay, don't we, do learned th- that. <laughs> <laughs> we learned that. We learned that. In case any of us go on stage performing, do yes. not eat a whole bowl of spaghetti and a glass but of milk. But Carly Rae Jensen was um, one of the special guests tonight, so yeah. props to her. Yeah, she did her thing. She yeah. was great. And yeah, I but I saw her perform Call Me Maybe in real life. Oh. That was oh. That was that was that, that's where I was going with that story. Oh, okay, yeah. got you. That was She cute. was good. I liked her. But what brought everyone together this whole entire episode, and it's the kind of the climax of the whole episode, was Dixon getting into the car accident, mm. which was very upsetting. Of course, you know we had Annie having to go down to the um, what the morgue. Yeah, the morgue. the morgue. Now, first of all, you're gonna tell somebody that their brother is one of the people in the morgue. Okay, you don't right? know that. You right. know they had her going through thinking that she's about to see her brother dead mm-hmm. if you know at least give her some possibility you know they obviously yeah did not know who was in the body the bodies were you know what i mean they totally left out the fourth person which i thought was completely yeah. rude like you're gonna have her they gave her like crying. no hope at all to walk in there exactly you know and that's where friends come in they totally had her back and that's one thing that i love about 90210 at the end of the day they're all a great group of friends and mm-hmm. they all have each other's back even though they've slept with each other's boyfriends or they've you know screwed each other over for yeah. to date one of their other boyfriends you know so whatever happens they always come have each together. other yeah. and that's a strong friendship right there i mean it's strong totally because i don't know what i would do if that happens to me <laughs> but really when <laughs> <laughs> when annie got that phone call though my jaw dropped when they were like i was seriously like is he off the show now there's no way. Well, you, n- you never I know. know you never no know. Way. There could it be. And then the whole time when they were in there, I was getting teary-eyed. Oh, no. The part where I got teary-eyed was when Deb. Hello, mother. She's finally back in the episode. Aunt Aunt Becky. Becky. Here, though, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Her hair going. was fine. I liked her with that long hair that they had in the first seasons. But I'm so glad she was able to be there for Dixon. And luckily, the only thing really Dixon said was, you know, he wanted Adriana there. Which, you know, he obviously has a good memory and he, so that's yeah. good. You know, they had, he had He a was on memory. a mission to get her. Yeah. And so he remembers her and It's she love, man. Yeah, it is love. love. <sighs> Everybody just needs love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> love, love, love. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, so, you know, they had each other there. It brought everybody together. Of course, Naomi and Max had no idea what was going on until they got back. But they, of course, were there at the end of this scene. And it was a really good ending to the first uh, opening season yeah. of 90210. Just showing, you know, the friends still have each other's backs no matter what. And they're there for Dixon. And we're really hoping, you know, he gets better throughout the season. And yes. pulls through. We're pulling for you. Yeah, so when we get back, unless, are we going to commercial break or No. All right, awesome. <laughs> Let's get into this special segment. Woo! Justin. Oh, that's me. Woo, that's you. Oh, Yay. Can we have some music? Uh, Pump up the volume. What kind of music? I don't yeah. know. No? Okay. <laughs> Not this time. I'm just kidding. Um, Man. I'll, yeah, music. Woo, woo. Are you a singer? Yeah. Sing us no, a little tune. Absolutely get not. us in the mood. Not Wait, I mean, was he your rhymes. father a crazy country singer on the show? <laughs> Austin's father was, but Justin's was not. Yeah, How was that working not. with Billy Ray? It was great. I mean, yeah. uh, um, Billy Ray Cyrus to me is achy, breaky heart. You know? Yeah. Uh, so when I met him, he, I mean, he's from Kentucky as well. Mm-hmm. He's from Eastern Kentucky. A really just a heartbreaking, heartwarming story. Uh, really just self-made. Um, wouldn't take no for an answer, and that's just matter of fact, is yeah. his story. Uh, he was the most kind and genuine person. Uh, really just made it a point, everybody from the PAs, mm-hmm. no matter who you were, to say hello, goodbye, look you in the eye when really he spoke down to you. Um, yeah, he just, he, he, he always, uh, he knows how grateful he is for every, all his blessings. So That's nice to he hear. Was, he was great to be around. Oh, that's yeah. good. That's cool. He didn't pass, he didn't give me any singing lessons, though. So, oh, you know, I, I can't sing for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was fun, you know, being with the cast. And how how did it happen? Did you obviously had an audition for the part, right? Yeah, you know, um, 
Now to know has been a, just a journey, my four-year career, uh, mm -hmm. sh young career. I've been in and out of auditions for Nine Two and uh, um, in season three. I mean, most people know this now. Season three, I played a different character. I played a stripper. Really? Uh, yeah, Terry the stripper on the season finale of season three. It's, he was when the bachelor and bachelorette parties. It was just it was like a joke. It was done okay, as like a joke, and yeah. that was the most mortifying experience. <laughs> ever. Hey, what? I remember that now oh, yeah. for um, Ivy's. Yeah, I mean, I had like sunglasses okay, on yeah. the whole time, okay. really, with the exception of a few lines, but. But yeah, so nobody really knew who I was. Yeah. Um, but I, so anyway, so I did that uh, at the end of season for the season finale of season three, and I was in my trailer, mortified. Like <laughs> this is horrible. I'm in front of the entire cast, fifty people, and I got a, like a, a rip away <laughs> cop outfit. Minus that, I knew I was gonna have to do it like twelve or thirteen times. Right. Um, which is just terrible. Uh, but I was in my trailer, and I just was like, you know what? They're never you're never gonna see these people again. Just go out and just. Just do your thing. Great for and, and I went and I did my thing. <laughs> you know, I was you proud of that. You have to go back and rewatch that episode. So I was in <laughs> Michigan, uh, Michigan doing a film in June mm -hmm. when the breakdown for Austin came out, and my agent called and she said, "You're never gonna believe, but we just completely wasted you on that one with the stripper role because there's a perfect role for you." Um, she, I said, "Well, what are you gonna do?" Yeah. And she called me a few hours later and said, "Put yourself on tape for an audition." And see what happens. And I did that several times. And uh, because I was on the show, I think once before, so they knew me. Um, and I've been in and out of producer sessions for you know a little while. And that that was very beneficial um, it, for me to be able to book mm -hmm. that yeah. fr from a tape. And um, so glad it all worked out because it was a, a great a great year of my life. Really, it, uh, yeah. everybody there was so welcoming to, welcoming mm -hmm. to me. When I got to the first tape read, um, they introduced me. I was so nervous. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a show that's been going on for three years now, that uh, had been going on for three years, mm -hmm. and they were such a, uh, like, it felt like school. Really close. Like, the first day of school when you get back yeah. from summer vacation. Um, and I'm kind of like the new kid in school, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's exactly how it feels like. And then when they introduce you, they said, and, and if you remember, uh, uh, we had Justin Dealey playing Austin, who, if you remember from last year, he played the stripper. And Matt Latter <laughs> goes, that's how I know you. <laughs> she was driving me crazy all day. And I was <laughs> like, oh, great. Uh, but no, but th the whole cast, everybody from the PA to the executive producers, it was, it's really a wonderful family there that they have going mm -hmm. on. That's why it's it's going now five years. That doesn't happen by accident. Mm -hmm, right. Um, th um, and what you alluded to earlier about how they all seem like such wonderful friends because uh -huh. they are such wonderful uh, people and, and they have great chemistry in person. It's really... Um, um, intoxicating to be around. It's wonderful to be around. So uh, yeah, I just love everybody over there. I really, I really Aww. am so grateful to everybody there for that's for there. That's nice that's to stuff. hear. Yeah. Yeah. So, but we found out, you know, so this was maybe your last occurring role. Yeah, I mean, for for right now, it is. I mean, you never know with TV shows. Um, right. But but Austin is staying in Vegas and gonna find his own way, and uh, you know, but you know, because people were saying, oh man, aren't you like upset? And yeah, I will miss everybody there. Um, but I did eight, you know, seventeen episodes. Yeah, Austin, no, you which had a great was, was yeah. great, and I never would have dreamed when I f started a year ago or a year and a half ago, when they s if somebody would say we got seventeen episodes for you, I would uh -huh. say no way. Um, yeah, it was really uh, just a great experience, and so blessed to uh, to have been a part of that, and uh, and really got to thank things like After Buzz and Twitter fans and yeah. for the support of that because that's you know fans oh, are totally. what drive characters, especially guest stars. So. So yeah, it was it was great, man. I, I just miss those guys. No, definitely. I mean, we really loved your character here. I mean, you're still new into acting. You came from Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah, where you're from. My <laughs> hometown from too. The same place. Yes. We didn't know that. that we did it. Age. We yeah. know it now. Uh, and so, how long have you been in the acting? I mean, how many roles did you do before you hit 90210? I mean, because that's a big role. I mean, especially 17 episodes. Yeah, like it's been. Uh, you know, I'm. I know how lucky I am because, uh, mm -hmm. it, you know, um, I grew up in Kentucky sports mm -hmm. world, uh, played every sport you could play as a kid and was into acting like when I was like 10 years old, I got into mm -hmm. it. My cousin was in theater, went to the University University of Chicago for a year and did theater okay. there. And when I was 10, my mom took me to see one of his like plays in a community theater. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I remembered falling in love with acting then because um, I saw two shows. The first night I loved it so much, I wanted to see it again. And the second night was different. Mm -hmm. And that was what I loved about it was it was just different and spontaneous and accidental and and it was all good it was it all worked um, but I was a very shy kid you know and I never really talked about it um, 
And I, w and I had some success in sports, was recruited out of high school and went on to play for the University of Louisville. Nice. Um, and it just wasn't, I didn't feel right about mm -hmm. doing it. And I started taking acting classes with some of the other football guys my freshman year because it was going to be an easy A. Like yeah. That was oh. the deal. <laughs> no big deal. And I loved it. And I just loved it. And, and um, you know, when, I, when football didn't work out for me and I decided to really just hang up cleats, I was like, hey, you know, let, let's give this a go. And I went to London to study Shakespeare. I needed to kind of clear my head and, and get mm -hmm. out of, because w along with saying I want to be an actor from being a football player is right. in the South, it's kind of like, what? <laughs> what do you want to do? Because, yeah. you know, the arts are a hobby to them, mm -hmm. uh, you know, totally. a lot. It's viewed that way. And it was tough, you know, so I went to London and uh, thankfully with the support of my father, uh, studied Shakespeare there and I came back and I had no problem saying yeah this is what I'm doing uh, graduated college and I uh, was on a plane three weeks later f and, and uh, four years four and a half years later I'm sitting here with you guys I know that's how that awesome. goes it's that's a, exactly what I, I mean, did it's I hard punches graduated and yeah. packed up and moved what out you gotta do, man. you gotta <laughs> be brave and just enjoy the ride so mm. it's been uh, been great uh, and then when I got out of here I found a a great uh, acting studio that I you know I still st awesome. uh, take classes at today and mm. uh, my mentor is there and um, yeah, just mostly films, really. My career yeah. has been mostly independent films. And nice. when 90210 came along, that was my really introduction to television. I'd done some smaller things yeah. before, but uh, it was really my, like, this is TV. And you take it's, off. It's a different world, and uh, it's night and day from film. You know, it's faster. It's yeah. great training for young actors, and um, it's tough, man. TV business is, is difficult. Because you never know if it's going to go, mm -hmm. if it's going to yeah. stay. And those actors work so hard. I, I mean, all fil every, every actor works works really hard. But on the television shows, I mean, you know, it's... Aren't you it's there from, like, stuff. 4 a.m. to, like, 10 Yeah, a. And, and, you know, Long it's days. nine months of the year as opposed to you do a film. And yeah. it might be just a month. It's sometimes it's, you know, six months. But right. there's an end in sight. Where here, it's nine months. Here we go. Let's let's, let's bring this episode. So, awesome. yeah. Well, that's a nice little run. Yeah, Your you. Are you... Would you compare yourself to Austin in what way, anyway? You yeah, you know, that's something else I learned about television. Um, at least I, I think I learned about television. I could be wrong yeah. on this. <laughs> um, but I, I found that even with all these characters on the show, 90210, um, there's a certain quality about a person that it allows that character to live for however many seasons that it is. Mm -hmm. um, as opposed to a film when you're working on a character and you know you got 90 pages or 100 pages to bring this character to life, and that's the character. But I think there has to be a certain quality about a person um, that lives inside the character that's created to uh, to make it work and to make it run for however many seasons it goes. So yeah, with Austin and me, I mean, really, my dad's not a country music singer, and that's pretty much it. I, I found very a lot of similarities. Mm -hmm. You know, even with uh, in the beginning, Austin had a big problem with uh, just the uh, mentality of the spoiled Beverly Hills. Uh, I mean, you know, when I first moved here, I remember being like, this place sucks. Crazy. Totally, <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, so there was all that stuff, really. I mean, Did you roll up with your cowboy hat? That's the other thing. I don't wear cowboy <laughs> hats. I don't wear them. Who does? I mean, in Texas, no. you wear them, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm definitely there's not, not even not close a to a cowboy. cowboy, but neither is Austin. Austin, his dad is a country music singer. Right. I think he really wanted to be one. Yeah, he, he tried. <laughs> so he just wanted to be different so badly, mm -hmm. and he did not want to lose sight of where he came from. Is that's why he rocked that hat. Yeah. But eventually they said, okay, the hat's gotta go. <laughs> so nice. I took it off. Well, one question for the ladies. So you've had Holly, you've had Naomi, mm -hmm. you know, a couple of her love interests. So what is a love interest to you? What do you find in a girl? And me, Justin? Yeah, oh. me, Justin. <laughs> Not Austin this <laughs> time. <laughs> okay, <laughs> dang. Um, that's a, one of those questions. Um, <laughs> you know. Fun. Are I you mean, blushing right now? Little, probably. Is my shirt <laughs> matching? my face matching my shirt? Um, I think the most endearing quality that I found find in women is, uh, you know, dorkiness. You know, um, because I myself am one. Okay. Most people don't know that about me. Uh, behind closed doors, I like to just... I'm a very shy person, really. Really? Uh, behind closed doors, I'm very goofy. Yeah. And I, th and I just... To me, it's very, um, it's very refreshing to see a girl who just... I don't know, it's just, you know, owns the fact that she's a dork and doesn't care and it makes me feel more comfortable, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so that's like a huge, qu uh, tur you know, turn on, I guess, yeah. for me um, to see that quality in a, in a girl. Um, yeah, I mean, 
Let's well, see. there you have it. I that's mean, like that's not an answer one. you don't I have to get TV from a guy. Yeah, it's you know. No, that's a nice. Yeah, when you see it, when you see, it's one of those things when you see it, you you know. So. All right, girls. Well, there you have it. Bring out the dorkiness. All right, y'all. So we have a fan question oh. from oh, okay. Anthony Ventura. What's up, Anthony? He says, based off everything that happened in the first season or the first episode for the fifth season, mm -hmm. do you think this season will be as up and down as the fourth season was? Up and down. What do you think? Up and down meaning like maybe like emotions, maybe wishy washy, wise. up and down, like m eventful. Eventful. Um, I mean, emotionally, definitely emotionally. up and down. Um, okay. If that's what. Uh, it's um, probably. I mean, I would imagine. I mean, I. Um, the showrunners there, Patty and Laura, are just tremendous, and they, they have a, a wonderful point of view of, of where they want to go with that, and, and the writers do a great job of meeting that. Um, yeah, I can only imagine. I mean, you, you saw the first episode. I mean, that's just, you Up can't get much more emotional <laughs> than death <laughs> yeah. and, and life, yeah. really, birth and, and fire, knocking on death's doorstep. So, so absolutely. That awesome. Well, there you go. Yay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being yeah. here. Yeah, thanks for having me. It was fun. Good, I'm glad you had a good time. I'm your host, Nicolette Gaona, and we are signing off. You can find me on Twitter at Nicolette Gaona. And you can follow me at Carmela Mondello. Where can we find you? J Dealey, D E E L E Y 7. What High school right. number. <laughs> what, is that, did I just do that? Yeah, you said that. D E E. L E Y. Okay, see it was the music, it was the music in my ear. <laughs> Have a good night. Night, y'all. Night. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Bye. 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 <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.